Red Dead Redemption 2 is just over 100 days away, and right now, it's about a month since Rockstar Games revealed anything new for this upcoming title. They currently seem to be concentrating on the next big Grand Theft Auto Online update, which probably means after this, the focus will be directly on RDR 2 up to release. In Grand Theft Auto 5's marketing, the first gameplay was being revealed right about now, although that game did arrive a month earlier. Either way, our next reveal for Red Dead Redemption 2 is indeed near, with more than likely that being our first taste of gameplay. But today we have some new information being revealed again by Rockstar's parent company, Take-Two Interactive. The CEO, Strauss Zelnick, recently spoke to GameDaily.biz, and he actually opened up a bit more about the experience that we're getting this fall, providing us with some very interesting comments to questions that many of us have. First, the biggest thing that he says is that they are not looking to implement a games-as-a-service model for Red Dead Redemption 2. Zelnick would say, Our interest is not games as a service, or single player, or multiplayer, or episodic. Our interest is in captivating and engaging consumers with the best entertainment anyone makes of any sort, and if we do that and then we give consumers even more great stuff to engage with, it should work out well. And naturally, the revenues and the profits will follow. My concern is that, looked at upside down, we want to make games as a service sort of misses the point. We're in the entertainment business and there's no reason to believe consumers have have lost interest in single player if the single player is good. There is no reason to believe you can create a service that sells if the service is not great. Obviously this does not say there won't be a virtual currency in Red Dead Online, I believe that was already leaked, but the way Zelnik is speaking of the multiplayer seems much different than Grand Theft Auto Online. I at least think and hope they understand Red Dead Redemption 2 primarily is being anticipated for just single player. While there is excitement for the multiplayer, it's not even close to the audience of Grand Theft Auto Online. Next, Strauss Zelnick would go further with this comment, which again makes me hopeful single player DLC is going to happen post launch. Zelnick would say, We've said that we want to engage with consumers after the initial release. That remains our goal. But, you can only do it if the initial experience is great. If it's not, then people won't want more of it. We have Red Dead Online coming, and Rockstar announced that, so clearly that's intended to be an expression of ongoing engagement after the initial sale. What we haven't talked about is any path to monetization because it's just not our primary concern. Our primary concern is keeping consumers engaged. Now, you can choose to believe that or not. Personally, I'm not buying it. I think they would like this to be as popular and engaged as Grand Theft Auto Online, but I'm not quite sure that is a possibility. I still think a lot of us don't know how they could handle frequent DLC and updates with a limited Wild West setting. Could they add new horses, weapons, or outfits? Sure, but how long could they keep that going is the question. And my personal belief is that a single player supernatural DLC like Undead Nightmare that came with Red Dead Redemption will happen again. This would allow Rockstar Games to add some crazy things to the game and probably extend the game's life making both single-player and multiplayer fans happy. Zelnik would finish his comments on monetization by talking about Grand Theft Auto V and saying, We did not design a money-collecting machine, we designed the best game anyone's ever seen, and as a result, consumers were happy to pay for it, and continue to. We've sold 95 million units, and we just had another record year for Grand Theft Auto Online. I think when you hear people talking too much about the monetization mechanics, that would raise my concerns that they are missing the point, and this sounds like because there isn't enough people complaining about Grand Theft Auto Online's model, then it's fine, which is, I guess, debatable because I just really don't think anyone expected this game to still be around and this big five years later. Although, with Grand Theft Auto V's online still being supported years later, as far as I understand, it's a grind fest for a new player who may start today or tomorrow and wants some of the new vehicles and other content that costs millions. Now, I think the issue isn't Grand Theft Auto Online being a money-collecting machine, it's that single-player content has been canned to support the money-making online, and for years, from the late 1990s to 2013, we always got yearly Rockstar games, but as soon as Grand Theft Auto Online took off, that changed, which many fans find unfortunate and disappointing. 
So there's been a lot of talk about a Red Dead Redemption 2 Battle Royale mode, a leak that came back in February which has featured spot on information and a few never before seen images mentioned a Battle Royale mode would be featured, but a separate report that came a number of weeks ago claimed it was never greenlit and was just something that Rockstar was toying with. Well, Zelnick discussed if we would see this from them, and he would say, we've used Battle Royale mechanics before, I wouldn't rule it out, but any mechanic you use would want to be in service of the core entertainment experience and would be consumer focused. It wouldn't be driven by revenue focus in our view and if one is overly derivative of another's success you pretty much guarantee you're not going to have your own success because no one is looking for a clone of Fortnite. I wish we had Fortnite, we don't. So wishing we had Fortnite is not going to help me. That doesn't mean you wouldn't use a mechanic that's in other games. We're certainly not averse to using something created by someone else in service of a good experience in our own games. So there are moments when you might choose to be derivative for some small portion of a game, but I think there's a lot of emphasis on questions that have been posed more pointedly by some which is, hey, look at Fortnite. Shouldn't everything you do be some example of Fortnite? The answer is absolutely not. If we turned an upcoming release into a sad, diluted version of Fortnite, I can assure you it would fail, in addition to being embarrassing for the brand. You can't possibly believe that Battle Royale is the only mechanic that has captured people's attention that interact with entertainment. So if you're busy cloning it, you don't think there will be another hit in between now and then? Because I do. Do I think that it's a hit that will be a clone of Fortnite? I do not. I'll admit I do like Zelnik's answer on this, and it does sound like Battle Royale with some sort of spin is possible. Recently Bethesda's Todd Howard made a similar comment on the mode for Fallout 76, but what I will say is I don't see the harm in the mode as long as it's not a big deal like how Black Ops 4 cancelled its single player mode to focus on the multiplayer and battle royale mode. Also this fall having every big game featuring a battle royale mode would be in my opinion a little ridiculous and I promise you not every game will see the success that Epic Games has had with Fortnite and you could argue that no game will. Anyway Take-Two's next call is at the beginning of August and I fully expect sometime in the next few weeks some new things will be revealed from Rockstar Games like our first look at the gameplay. Red Dead Redemption 2's release is quickly approaching and I still feel like we don't know too much about this experience which is both a good and bad thing. Anyway, what is your opinion on Zelnik's comments? Do you think Red Dead Online is going to be just like Grand Theft Auto Online or not? Let me know what you're thinking in the comment section below, but thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and consider subscribing for much more Red Dead Redemption 2 content to come. And remember, Outlaws to the end.